Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Ebone with Unbound UAV and uh, just wanted to go over a couple of fixes, how I um, made my Beta 85X HD a little beta better. So, uh, the, the GPS, of course, just went ahead and wired in. It was pretty straightforward. You can actually watch uh, Bartowell's video and, and pretty much get there, or you could go ahead and look up on uh, Oscar Liang and get... Uh, and get a link on yeah, how to set this up. So, um, let's see. The main problems were the uh, you know, were the video quality, which you can fix with a capacitor on here. Uh, the sound. Uh, how to fix the sound? What I actually did was I moved the microphone from uh, the back to the front. Now you'll notice a little something in in the front there. Uh, Maybe you can't see it with this light, no worries. But there's um, there's a little bit of white material, and what I actually did was I uh, I, I pulled off the end of a Q-tip, a, a clean one, not one I used, but uh, pulled that off and then and then kind of stretched it out. Actually wrapped the microphone in uh, in the cotton from there, and then stuffed it up in the front. Uh, that turned the audio from a uh, terribly squealy, nasty sound into a uh, into a decent sound that can be used in uh, in videos and not sound like it's just like it makes you want to put something in your ears. Um, so that's that's how you address the uh, audio issue. Now the um, so what you may have noticed before was that uh, um, Kebab actually said that the screen looked a bit narrow. Uh, you can fix that by just adjusting the camera. So. Uh, unfortunately, you do have to pop up the canopy, go under, and use the uh, uh, the Caddx remote. Uh, I just went ahead and left my lead sticking out, and I just dangle it down in case I want to change anything. Since this is a Cinewoop, I may feel like adjusting the camera uh, to get better shots for whatever, you know, if, if I want to change those parameters. So it just makes it a bit easy that I put the extension in and ran it off, tucked it under, and, uh, and it's been fine there. Uh, so another thing that you will want to do is don't even bother with 30 frames per second. Don't don't even bother. You will get terrible footage uh, and it'll be a terrible experience flying. Uh, 60 frames per second is the way to go and uh, that is if you are recording or not recording. Now if you don't have intention to record, if you were going to race or just rip around and uh, wanted probably the best view that you could do. Set this to 120 frames per second. It will get brighter, uh, but you can tune out the brightness, but just the the motion is 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 crazy. It's it's the way to go. It's just super sharp, super clean. Um, it's like, uh, let's see, the, the best thing that I would relate the how it feels in your goggles is when, it, when you turn your flat screen to uh, 60 hertz or or up it to 120 so it's just it's real nice and if you don't like it you can always switch it back but uh, of course if you're going to be recording um, you're gonna get, you're gonna eat up a lot of space really fast and I wouldn't really recommend it uh, I've noticed a little bit of lag introduced after prolonged flights at 120 while recording only while recording um, so if you're going to be racing this guy around, try it at, uh, try it at 120. See if you like it. Uh, so that you know, that kind of fixes how um, the video quality comes across, as well as the image being scrunched. Uh, so the the next item for um, for video is actually adjusting your FOV. So be sure to adjust your FOV uh, when you're in the menu for. Uh, uh, for the Cadex here, and uh, I went ahead and, and went as, as wide as I could possibly go. Um, just made things a lot more comfortable, real nice, and and, uh, and made it pretty awesome to fly with. So uh, that's, that's pretty much about it. Um, other than that, uh, let's see, that's, that's kind of how I, I, I made this experience a bit better. And I think you guys will have a lot more fun with this, whether you're you're racing or not. Oh, uh, excuse the blue tape, please. This is actually, 
I put that on there just so that way I can I can pop it on and off when I'm changing out the uh, SD card. I like to fly it with a little blue tape over there just in case the SD card accidentally ejects. I got a little something there, and uh, and I could change it out, throw it away as needed. It kind of blends in. So right now this one's ready to go, but normally I just you know sticks on real nicely and that'll keep the card from popping out in the event of a crash. Um, Oh, one more thing. Sorry, last last bit is if if you're going to uh, retune this thing, you will notice, and you'll actually notice it while the field of vision is uh, is narrow. So if you do have four uh, you have four to three, and um, your camera is set by sixteen by nine, you're going to notice a bit of shimmy, and uh, and so it's really not that much, but you really notice it with how the camera comes by default. Uh, I tuned that out mostly before I discovered adjusting the camera by increasing the heck out of the out of the eye gain on uh, on y'all, and uh, and that did a nice job. But yeah, for this guy, go ahead and hike up that eye gain, and um, and that'll make things a bit easier. Then you could adjust everything uh, everything as you like the rest. But uh, other than that, it's uh, it's all good. So. <sighs> Final words on this. Um, I love it. It's a lot of fun. It's uh, it's turning into exactly what I wanted, but it is not. It's not what I wanted for for that price. I I thought it would be a lot easier, a lot higher quality um, for the price. And honestly, if I was uh, just building something from scratch. With the experiences that I've had with this, uh, I, I I wouldn't buy it again. I've fixed the things that have bugged me and made it what I want and do what I want so far, and it's it, it's great now. But uh, yeah, simple simple warning to you guys: uh, buy at your own risk. But uh, there's there's my input. It it can be awesome. Uh, Acro. Little a little lackluster, but some some like it. I'm not a big fan. Uh, once again, prefer the Tiny Hawk, but uh, it's a winner if you want to work on it and you don't mind putting a little little money into it or or dealing with a a, a false part. So, thank you very much, guys. Uh, thanks for sticking with me through the three videos. If you haven't, if you uh, like this content, feel free to like and subscribe. If you don't like the content, feel free to like and subscribe as well so you could uh, let me know what I'm doing wrong and how to fix it. Cool. Well, thank you very much. Have an excellent evening.